Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Hello. Are you off our side to play? <laughs> it's quite a chilly, windy day. Oh, that's made a mess inside, hasn't it? <clears throat> Someone should clean those leaves up, you know. Charlie, it won't take a moment to do. Good bear. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. That's how to make it fun. You look like you're ice skating, Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Now you can go outside and... Uh... Hey! I'm not sure that is such a good idea. Charlie, you might slip over and... Oops! Oh, dear. I told you so. Are you OK? Are you going to do any more sliding across the floor? If you really want to slide, then you should learn how to ice skate at a proper ice skating rink. Charlie? Oh. Fantastic! You're at a proper ice skating rink. And there's Frozo and Midge. You could skate like that, Charlie. Ice skates. Put them on. <laughs> well, oh, they do take a bit of getting used to. But you'll get the hang of it, Charlie. You will. Oh, watch out. Whoa, 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 oh. Well done, Charlie. Skating isn't that easy, but you're off to a good start. Oh, that's nice. Your friends will help you, Charlie. Yes. 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 Oh, you made it. That was much better. Oh, Ballerina has turned up to skate as well. This should be good. Oh, now would you look at that. Oh! I mean, the shape, the curves. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's just beautiful. It's wonderful. Now, that was amazing skating. Are you going to skate by yourself now, Charlie? Mm. Don't forget that you're still just learning how to skate, Charlie. You will get better with practice, Charlie, but why don't you let Frozo and Midge help you again? Skating on one skate is very difficult, you know. <laughs> oh dear. Are you okay, Charlie? Charlie, even Bellerina must have started by learning easy skating moves before she started doing those difficult ones. Charlie? Charlie, you're not going to try something you haven't learned how to... Ow! ...do yet. Oh, dear. Are you giving up, Charlie? But you were learning how to skate so well. You were. It seems a shame to just 
Stop now. Frozo and Midge don't want you to give up. And neither does Bellarina. She wants to help you. You won't turn her down, will you, Charlie? Excellent. That's it. Oopsie. Bravo, Charlie. Straight back to it. Bravo. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh! <laughs> there you are, Charlie! Uh, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie? Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> you need to be a little more careful, Charlie. You're being a bit of a monkey today. Oh, you put gloves on your feet. You are a monkey. <laughs> I suppose monkeys can act all silly sometimes. But if you're not careful, you might break something or upset someone. Why don't you go outside and be silly in the garden? Oh, it's raining. I suppose you can't go outside now, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you really should calm down. Can't you be a monkey without being so out of control? <laughs> oh, you're in the right place now, Charlie. If a monkey's going to act silly and overexcited, then a jungle is just the place to do it. <laughs> and you do make a very good monkey, Charlie. It looks like fun. And it seems like you've got this jungle all to yourself. And you can be as silly as you like because there's no one else here for you to upset. Oh, except Midge. And he's a tiger. You'd better calm down and not make too much noise, Charlie Bear. No one likes being disturbed when they're asleep. Especially a tiger. Careful, Charlie! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Mitch the tiger has woken up. Whew. It looks like you got away with that one, Charlie Bear. You were very lucky. But I think it'll be okay now, as long as you calm down. Charlie, that's not calming down. And you really shouldn't play with food, especially next to a sleeping tiger. You'll wake Midge up again. You threw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bananas. Oh, now you've done it. It really isn't a good idea around a tiger, Charlie. They've got big teeth and big claws, so you don't want to make one angry. You must stop throwing those bananas.
That's it, Charlie. Just act nice and calm. Drumming isn't nice and calm, Charlie Bear. It's loud. Stop it, Charlie, please. Midge will wake up and be very angry. Oh, please, Charlie, be sensible and calm down. Who knows what that tiger might do if you wake him up. has got a really loud roar. That's better. Tidying up is a much calmer thing to do. No, Charlie! Oh, I see. You're saying sorry. That's very nice of you, Charlie. Tigers eat bananas. There, Charlie. It's much nicer when everything's calm, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, I thought you weren't going to be silly and out of control anymore, Charlie Bear. What's that? It's not you being silly. It's Mitch. <laughs> oh, well. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are. It's a very red and shiny pair of wellies you're wearing, Charlie. Oh, yes, they look lovely. Whoops. <laughs> Do your wellies look even better from down there? So, um... Why are you wearing wellies indoors, Charlie? You're a... Uh, you're, you're a cow jumper. No. A cow rusher? What else are you going to do on your farm, Charlie? Oh, is that it? <laughs> I'm not sure that farmers just jump in muddy puddles, Charlie. Being a farmer is harder work than that. Excellent splashing, Charlie. Wow! What a big farm you've got, Charlie. And there are a lot of muddy puddles in it, too. Maybe I was wrong about being a farmer. It does look like a lot of fun. Splish! Splash! Splosh! Which one is the biggest puddle, Charlie? One, two, three. Oh, oh, what was that? Have a closer look. It's not the tree making that noise, Charlie. Rivet is one of your sheep, Farmer Charlie, and he's stuck up that tree. 
I think you have to rescue Rivet the sheep before you can do any more puddle jumping, Charlie. Are you getting a ladder? A trampoline? I didn't know that's how farmers get their sheep out of trees. Farmer Charlie. Mm. Hold on, what's that sound? Surely it's not Rivet the Sheep in trouble again. It's Caramel. I think she might be hungry, Charlie. Are you getting some nice green grass? Cows love eating grass. Or a cupcake, yes, I suppose cows might like cupcakes. Oh! <laughs> Caramel is still hungry. Where did you get that cupcake, Charlie? Watch out, Farmer Charlie. Caramel has gone cupcake crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Niblet's hutch is broken. Now you need to repair Niblet's hutch, Charlie. Well done, Farmer Charlie. Farmer Charlie? play puddle jumping with you. I'm not surprised you're tired, Charlie. Being a farmer was a lot of hard work after all. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Uh, Charlie, there are muddy welly prints to clean up. Yes, now. Farmers always clean up after themselves. Hey, that looks like fun too. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? He doesn't seem to be here. There you are, Charlie. What are you drawing? Is it a pink pancake on two sticks? Oh? Oh, I know, I know, a pink wedding hat. Oh. Um, hold on. Is it a cake with candles? It must be a birthday cake you're drawing. Mmm, with strawberry icing too. It's not your birthday, Charlie. Is it one of your toy friend's birthdays? Let's count the candles. Maybe that will give us a clue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? None of your friends are that old. So if it isn't anyone's birthday, then why did you draw a birthday cake, Charlie? Oh, you're blowing out the candles because you want to make a wish. Are you making a wish now? What are you wishing for, Charlie? Oh, sorry. You made a wish. I can't wait to find out what it is. Yay! That's a castle, wow! And that's a throne! Oh, Charlie, your wish was to be a king! You are King Charlie! 
I suppose that as a king, you could wish for anything you wanted. Oh, especially if you've got a wizard. A wizard can use magic to make things happen. Oh, yeah, hat's fallen off there, Frozen. wishes for a special dance to be done for him. Oh, hat throws out. <laughs> that moustache looks absolutely silly. Um, um, it looks very regal. Yes, yes, a moustache fit for a king. Oh, yes, you... It must be very hot going for a walk in the sunshine with such a heavy crown on your head, King Charlie. <coughs> well, it does shade you from the hot sun, doesn't it? I suppose a king shouldn't really get muddy. <laughs> They're very pink. <laughs> oh, I like it when flowers smell lovely. to smell just like the flower. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Charlie, with that moustache, cloud, boots and petals around your head, you look... <laughs> you look very funny! Uh. And Wizard Frozo can't undo your wishes! Maybe being a king and having all your wishes come true wasn't so great after all. <laughs> now you want to be a wizard? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Ah, you wanted to be back home, Charlie. A fish? Charlie, I thought you were finished making wishes. Oh, I see. It's Frozo's wish. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>